सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज़ अरसलान एंड टुडे वी आर ऑन डेज एटीन ऑफ सॉल्विंग पाइथन रूप्स क्वेश्चंस सो सो फार वी हैव डन मेनी क्वेश्चंस एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इनहेरिटेंस वी स्टार्टेड विद अ वेरी सिंपल इनहेरिटेंस विद इन विच वी विल बी जस्ट वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट सिंगल लेवल इनहेरिटेंस नाउ वी हैव Uh, we also discussed about the super keyword super built in function and now we, we have moved on to day 18 where we'll be, we will be solving yet another question based on inheritance so this question will be a bit very bit difficult uh, than the previous one which we have solved however i still would encourage you guys to first of all try it on your own and if you are unable to solve this question then you can of course follow my method so if you are very new to this playlist i am just want to uh, give you a brief introduction about what this playlist and what this uh, tutorial and series is all about so guys in this tutorial in this in this series we we, we are solving the question of python or object oriented programming systems we started with a very basic question from day 1 and then we have moved on to day 18 finally and we started with very basic question and then eventually and slowly and gradually we just increase the bar like anything now we have yesterday i started with a very uh, a uh, good concept of object oriented programming system very important topic that is inheritance and we also did a question on a uh, single inheritance yesterday we have discussed and today we will be again doing another question on single inheritance so just before starting to solve this question please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel So let's start this tutorial. So we have to create a class called Shape. Now we have to define the instance attribute def in it, and we have to take two variables, uh, two attributes. Uh, sorry, one attribute as color, and here we will be defining the self and uh, self attribute instance attribute self dot color is equals to color. Now this is this this is the one attribute which we have to define. now create a child class called circle that inherits from the shape class so we will be creating a child class as we have already discussed that how do we create a child class first of all we define the name of the child class and then circle circle is the name of the child class then we take close it by parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we give the name of the parent so shape is the name of the parent right so we will be giving the name of the parent and in this we will be taking a uh, instance attribute again and automatically it will be super will uh, super will come here and as we have already discussed that what does super do super take uh, makes us unable to take the uh, features the functions the attributes from the uh, parent attribute so if you want to take the attributes from the parent like if you want to take a attribute let's say color instance attribute in our shape uh, all right in our circle so if you want to take the attribute of attribute as color in our circle class that is our child class then you use the super uh, keyword it is it's an it's an inbuilt function now uh, in this in this uh, uh, circle class it's a child class and in this again they are saying one more attribute we have to define which is add an attribute called radius to the circle mark class so let's let's just add a radius here and self dot self dot radius is equals to radius now we have defined yet another uh attribute instance attribute so now we have to finally create an instance create an instance of the uh, create an instance of the circle class and print out the color and the radius of the circle so we can do it easily let's say a is equals to shape this this is our instance attribute uh, sorry this is our uh, object our instance and in this we have to take one attribute as color let's say it's blue so if you if you want to print the color let's say uh 
we, uh, I want to print out the color so I will be seeing that a dot uh, color print a dot color so it will be giving me the output as blue so as you can see it's printing me blue now if I want to take out the radius of the circle which is a child class so what I will be doing here is I will be saying that uh, b is equals to what b is equals to circle now circle will take will not be taking one attribute instead it would be taking two attributes so it will be taking two parameters inside this because it is taking color and radius as well because white seeking color as well because color is a part of a shape and shape is a parent container sorry parent class so it's not uh, it's a parent class and circle is a and the circle is a child class and in child class we have two attributes so we will be saying that let's say it's a red and radius let's say it's five now if i want to print the uh, color of b i will be saying that print uh, f string uh, b dot uh, b dot color so it will be giving me color see it's giving me red so now I will be saying that the color is this and and the radius of circle is uh, it's uh, uh, b dot circle b dot radius now it will be printing me a value of five years yeah so it's giving me an output of the color is red and the radius of the circle is five now if you want to make it more uh, uh, readable you can just put the unit like centimeter square uh, centimeter square you can uh, give centimeter square or else if you do not want to put this you can leave it like this and this was all in the question guys i hope that you like this question and uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask me about anything you want to ask which we have studied till now. So, so thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time.